Hip Hop Thursday on Y in the Morning. This is our first interview of the day. Our first artist of the day goes by the name Edu the Rapper. We have been going on and on talking about Joyner Lucas, talking about Logic, talking about Eminem. And from this conversation, I can't wait to listen to more of his music. He represents 110, that is Kitengela, The Hood, uh, that is Kajadu County. Yeah. All right, yeah. So, <laughs> Karibu Sana. <laughs> Asante. Karibu Sana on my in the morning. Asante, Mr. So, the drill is always, huh? look at camera four, introduce yourself if I missed anything. Um, yeah, so, um, I'm Edu the Rapper. <laughs> my government name is Edward Ubura. Edward Ubura. Yeah. Um, All right. That is your Uduma number name. <laughs> Let's not talk about to do my <laughs> but yeah, that's my that's what's on my ID. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, Karibu sana kwenye in the morning. Uh, rap is something you do for fun, f as a passion, yeah. and as a career. Profession, yeah. All right, when did you fall in love with this thing? Um, done it since I was a kid, uh -huh. but I decided like I'm going to pursue this thing professionally uh -huh. in high school. Because uh -huh. like in high school, uh -huh. um. Like all through my schooling, mm -hmm. I've been that 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 A student. Uh -huh. So like when I got to high school, uh -huh. um, it just didn't feel like it was fulfilling. And uh -huh. like there was a is exotic, but uh -huh. there was like an empty space uh -huh. that only rap could fill. Exactly. All right. <laughs> so how do you feel? Uh, maybe God gave you all these brains yeah. to cure cancer. Or maybe um, so um, I've thought about it like that as uh -huh. well but when I put two and two together uh -huh. the only direction it points in is rap because rap. like I could as well be an engineer mm -hmm. or a doctor but mm -hmm. I would never be able to stand out in that field as much as I do in rap all right yeah so you feel like you're the best you're you're the best edu yeah when you're rapping like um, for for one and a half years, uh -huh. um, once recap had broken up, uh -huh. like I wasn't releasing music or anything for one and a half years. Uh -huh. So just last week I released my first single, uh -huh. and everyone who was texting me was telling me, "Good to see you back on your feet." Uh -huh. Like to everyone, uh -huh. the idea of me being on my feet is me rapping. Like right. Nezakua president of Kenya, but according to the people who know me, uh -huh. that's not the Edu who is doing well and doing what he likes. Did you take these A's to college? Yeah. Took them to college. Huh? Uh, what are you studying or what were you studying? <laughs> um, I'm studying BCom. Marketing, marketing option. Yeah, marketing I, used, option. I was doing an engineering course, uh -huh. but I switched. You switched? Yeah. So um, I'm finishing my fourth year. You're finishing your fourth year. year. Why did you decide to do a business course? Um, because like... Music is a business. Exactly. Uh -huh. And I think people don't put as much into the business side of it as they uh -huh. do into production and uh -huh. like being stars on social Being media swaggy and, and uh, you know coming up juice with a, man. Different, a different scandal every day <laughs> like people should put more into the business people side should boom, put more yeah. into the and business what, what i'm studying is marketing uh -huh. which is like without marketing how are you getting your music from out there the studio to all right dj raj is here is a is a student as well oh. at the university of nairobi nice. <laughs> but he found a passion in dj <laughs> uh, so maybe he understands the struggle DJ sure raj, how, how was it for you um on my side yeah it's a different uh-huh uh, and if it's a different on my side uh -huh. uh, i'm doing something totally different uh -huh. uh, Jay. Well, in school, una so many in school. Environmental science. Environmental wow. science. You <laughs> want to see <laughs> <laughs> the glaciers. <laughs> All right, you want to see the environment. So uh, when it comes to DJing, yeah. uh, this is where your bread is coming from, right? Yeah. Do you see yourself practicing uh, somewhere at the UN uh, saving the environment mm. or the Ministry of Environment <laughs> and everything? <laughs> Uh, of course, Jewish. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this Skoshua is happening a lot. The reason I bring this up, uh, yeah. we have so many, so many young Kenyans yeah. getting into college and studying things yeah. that they won't practice. Yeah. And I find this a waste of time because yeah. you waste four years in school. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, parents, yeah. if you're watching. So <laughs> you waste <laughs> a lot of time in school yeah. uh, and this energy you could have focused, focused it on yeah. something yeah. that is supporting either what yeah. you love yeah. or something that is what you love. Yeah. And if you think about mm -hmm. it, the system has actually set us up. Uh -huh. Like it's not really our fault. Uh -huh. 
like in high school uh-huh. there is no career day where uh-huh. they ever brought us a, a musician or someone a creative or a film someone director which, yeah, never or it a always used to be an engineer an uh-huh. actuary uh-huh. or a doctor or an accountant all right so try to imagine <laughs> it's a if, mentality uh, try to imagine if everybody in kenya was an engineer we had half, uh, half of kenyans are engineers half of kenyans are doctors yeah. is that a society nah it's not a society and i think uh-huh. um it's it's like in one of my raps i uh-huh. say that higher education uh-huh. higher learning uh-huh. um imefanya wase wache kufikiria like people are not thinking out of the box because uh-huh. i feel like um y- you can't get a degree to go be a bank teller uh-huh. like a bank teller is a type of job which you can train someone for in class week. eight exactly to uh-huh. and that uh, afanya because all you do is punch so you take money yeah. check if you have a degree uh-huh. or kama umefika hiyo level of education you're not supposed to be doing basic stuff uh-huh. you're supposed to be thinking totally out of the box because mm-hmm. your education going is, to is not grow the economy of the country exactly uh-huh. yeah and so people are just finishing being bank tellers kawaida jobs uh-huh. you know and these people have potential to be great so they are being underused yeah if you take a degree holder and put them uh put them to to operate yeah. some <coughs> simple things it's wasting their ability um, and their potential to an extent like uh-huh. i mean they could probably contribute to whatever uh-huh. they're doing that profession uh-huh. but if you're not doing what you stand out in uh-huh. then you'll never truly reach out your reach your pot- your full potential that's, right. that's what i feel you sound like <laughs> this tesla guy what is his name <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the guy who runs things at Tesla, he was saying, yeah. uh, when he came up with the self-driving cars, uh-huh. he was saying, we should not waste human yeah. hours yeah. in doing tasks, repetitive tasks, yeah. like driving. Yeah. These things can be done by machines and yeah. use our minds to yeah. do better to do stuff. More. All right. It's anyway, let's get back to the music. Thing. We got yeah. so deep. Uh, <laughs> let's get back to the music. You're yeah. telling me you have a rhyme book that is yeah. 400 pages. It's yeah. almost half full. And you I started, started writing, writing in it year. in December. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Cuz that's like you talk a malini me talk a lot boy. I was writing a rap in my head. All right. My question is, yeah. That's me. <laughs> my question is yeah. all these rhymes and all these verses. Uh-huh. When you get back to say page number 11, uh-huh. do you remember the flow? Yeah. Of course. Remember the flow. Yeah, like um sometimes uh-huh. people remind me of raps I wrote like five years ago. Uh-huh. And so sometimes you can't even put I've, one plus I've one together. I've forgotten it completely. Uh-huh. But when I hear that first line uh-huh. it comes back. All right. Yeah. So you something that you've written it's in you. Ah, it's like there's no way uh-huh. I'm going to write something then uh-huh. forget the emotion uh-huh. that I felt when I was writing it and like you know for me writing rap is like it's an art it's uh-huh. a science uh-huh. like you know it's, it's like a science yeah it's uh-huh. like patterns for uh-huh. me it's like rhyme patterns uh-huh. so there's no way I'm going to forget and my the flow rhyme, changes. My rhyme patterns uh-huh. exactly no uh-huh. way Yeah. no way you're going to forget now nah. so uh, <laughs> i'm feeling like you using this tool to educate to open people's exactly. minds all right. right actually i'm trying to figure out a way to like use rap to teach in uh-huh. schools all right my dad is a teacher so uh-huh. i feel like it's iko kwa damu yangu so um, i'm here to educate and uh-huh. i want it to like i want like in I, i was reading about how much kendrick has um contributed to the education sector mm-hmm. in America uh-huh. like his album has been archived at the Harvard library mm-hmm. um his 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 works are being used to teach english mm-hmm. and poetry mm-hmm. in schools and uh-huh. that's what i want for me which is really powerful exactly All right. that's that's what like rap has that mm-hmm. amount of potential rap has potential that's the potential it has but do you think it's the biggest genre in the world right now in the world of music yeah. why do you say so what is the because proof? um the proof is it has contributed the biggest percentage mm-hmm. than like any other genre mm-hmm. when it comes to music industry revenue mm-hmm. and when it comes to revenue number one yeah you can never go wrong with numbers yeah. uh-huh. and and uh, the the kind of <coughs> the kind of digital innovations uh-huh. that are in the music industry right now uh-huh. most of them are coming from the hip hop side uh-huh. when you talk about digital genre, innovations rappers uh-huh. like um you see Travis Scott 
effects on album, the sound uh -huh. and not just digital innovations uh -huh. but innovations uh -huh. and yeah you see like even country music right now they're using 808 uh -huh. I mean, yeah it's obvious and this came hip -hop from hip-hop. Hip-hop has a huge influence. Hip-hop has a e huge hip -hop influence. Hip-hop has given rise to house, uh -huh. techno, uh -huh. crank, trap music. Uh -huh. It's endless. It's all coming from hip-hop. Yeah, I mean... And numbers on the board. When uh, we look at the billboard charts, there's the, always hip-hop music. And the music. innovations in the music industry. Uh -huh. Most of them are coming from the hip-hop side. Like, Travis Scott released an album, and uh -huh. he was selling... Um, what, what do you call them? Like... Action, action figures. Action figures, yeah. Yeah, of himself. Uh -huh. It's like such innovations. Uh -huh. Most of them are coming from. Nobody the, ever imagined the hip hop and, and musicians yeah. selling action figures nah, of and, themselves. And much more than. And this is sold out. Uh -huh. All right. There's something about. Uh, th I saw a post uh, when Calligraph posted that mm, his yeah. girlfriend was pregnant. Yeah. There's this lady blogger went online and said, uh, Is it a qualification uh -huh. for a rapper? Yeah. <laughs> To impregnate a woman before they marry them. Uh, Any yeah. rapper across the world, when you look at any rapper across the world, yeah. is it a qualification mm. to make a girl pregnant yeah. or make them be with child and yeah. before they marry them? Yeah. I guess, you know, hip hop has this culture of, um, like, if, 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 like, to be cool, you have to have the girls. Mm -hmm. So, I guess it's, it's more of a to be cool, you have to have the girls. All right, uh, the girls. and there's a lot of stories going yeah. around about objectification of women in yeah. hip hop as well. And but talking yeah. about the girls, yeah. our topic of conversation today was DJs and the stereotypes around DJs. Uh -huh. DJ, these are the guys who play your music, anyway. Yeah. All right, so I'm trying to be a DJ who can release a demo. I'm going to be a DJ who can release a <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so what do you think about this particular issue? Before DJ, Rajiv tells us yeah. what it is, because um, this is an element DJ. of hip hop. Yeah, because this is an element, element of hip hop. Yeah. I think um, like the culture needs to change uh -huh. generally. The Not culture needs to change. Um, fast as a society uh -huh. and in hip hop, because uh -huh. hip hop, uh -huh. if you think about it, is actually pushing a lot of negative culture, uh -huh. misogyny. Uh -huh. Like a lot of misogyny is uh -huh. being pushed by hip hop. So as much as good is happening in hip hop, yeah, drugs is being pushed in hip hop, mm -hmm. killings are being pushed yeah. in hip hop, yeah. uh, the gangster way of life, yeah. and uh, snitching is a, is a crime yeah, when exactly. it's a good thing for security. Yeah, and, and so like even like kids are listening to these things, uh -huh. and most of these rappers, if you think about it, mm -hmm. that's not really the life they're living. Uh -huh. They're just writing lyrics which are going to sell. All right. So when but DJs are, are living this life. <laughs> 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 anyway, but the culture needs to change. Yeah, it needs to change. All right. The reason we are here is not about the politics and everything. We are here yeah. about this latest song that yeah. you have done. Yeah. Uh, tell us the title, who produced it, um, and uh, what inspired it. Yeah, so the song is called Wacha Wajaribu, uh -huh. um, Let Them Try Us. Uh -huh. So the song was produced by Mike Muema. He's, he, he was on Coke Studio this year. Um, and the song is basically about never giving up. Uh -huh. Like, I wrote it... Um, from my own point of view, mm -hmm. from the experiences that I was going through, uh, mm -hmm. I was part of a gospel group mm -hmm. called Recap, uh -huh. and we broke up last year. Uh -huh. So after the break, there's a lot of criticism uh -huh. being leveled at us, uh -huh. and a lot of people just bashing us, uh -huh. not really trying to understand, uh -huh. like why we even tried to, I mean, why we made that move. Uh -huh. And so what was in a lot of what the was complexities going my mind that come with being in a group, yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. and not just being in a group, mm -hmm. our own personal lives. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, I was thinking about um, how how many people out there are going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like, so many people are trying to chase their dreams mm -hmm. because nothing else feels f fulfilling, mm -hmm. and you can't really do something which you're not in love with or mm -hmm. something which doesn't fulfill you. You'll quit after two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. So, so many people are trying to chase their dreams and it's hard. It's hard there's out here. so many stumbling blocks on it's your road to success, mm -hmm. especially as youths, mm -hmm. like this lack of opportunities. Mm -hmm. And so I was writing it from a point of view that if you listen to this song, mm -hmm. you'll feel the struggle I was in mm -hmm. and you'll understand that I'm still here and I'm still doing this mm -hmm. and you can still do it mm -hmm. as well. Pia Neza. Mm -hmm. You can still chase you can still chase your dream mm -hmm. and work on what you love mm -hmm. because Mimi, I'm still here and 
I've struggled so much. Mm -hmm. So you can do it too. You can Wonderful. do what you love. Wise words from a decent man right here. Edu yeah. the rapper representing 110. Uh -huh. and representing Kenyan hip hop to the max. So uh, yes. listening to this guy, Edu the rapper, DJ Rajas. Is this what you call a representation <laughs> of hip hop culture? Is this what yeah. you like when, to, to see from a rapper? Or do you want to be so why is that? Uh man on Zampa beats? Uh freestyle. Yeah. Okay. Unaza mpa beat, yeah? Mm. Uh, beat, uh, social media on a kupata namna gani? Um, Facebook, IG, Twitter, uh -huh. Edu the rapper. Uh -huh. That's simple. All right, Edu the rapper, Edu that's the simple. Rapper. All right, and uh, YouTube, what I've got on that is most um, important for an artist. Just so, look them straight into the eyes. Yes, so um, Nico and uh, um, Crazy Global Management, mm -hmm. that's the YouTube channel mm -hmm. um, where my videos are. That's the label that I'm signed under. Mm -hmm. Crazy, Crazy Global Management. So mm -hmm. that crazy has a K mm -hmm. R E Z I. Mm -hmm. And but if you search a do the rapper on YouTube, mm -hmm. you'll still access my my works. Right. You're a rapper, stick into the raps. Yeah. We have a beat for it. <laughs> yes, Edu the rapper representing 110 freestyle. Yep. Before we listen to his latest song that is on YouTube, uh -huh. supported by DJ Rajis himself on Hip Hop Thursday on Y in the morning. Come challenges it, it is. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Take it, take it. Yo, uh, yo, yeah, yeah, uh, yo, a major key alert, Sony Shaka Funga Car Solex, Hammer MC, Wanani Watch Car Rolex, Killing the Kanku Jua, Beyonce and Anolas, the hype only stayed overnight, like a house guest, now all they got to brag about is being in the game longer. So far, they come in a fuck who I give points like a bonga, cause all you do is talk you straight out of Nairobi diaries. I must have been sneezing cause I'm blessed, no allergies. Put bars in your faces like y'all committed felonies, I mix it up with melodies, I had a dream, anything like it would never happen, but now it seems I must always down with kings, get them diamond rings, now I'm on to find a thing. I know where the people's heart is, cause I'm guess I'm good at finding things. Yo, and yo, I jump on the stage and represent for the ones my age, misunderstood generation, been caged, not engaged, just a set of rules we were taught to follow to the grave. Now mentality is set, so we find ourselves slaves to capitalism till we in our graves. Situation is grave, to talk about it, gotta be brave. Truth is why the would have us burn on the stake, for the sake of consolidating the power is safe. Clinical, no mistakes, came in the game over state, dreaming about getting paid. I don't say namaste, only by the God when I pray. Yo, I talk about what rappers will say, it's my mundane, I don't do no mundane. I direct the rhythm, no blues like Monday. And since the kid, I always been sure of one thing. I'ma do this rap thing till I the man of now. That is it. Let's listen to Edu the Rapper. This is April Thursday on Y in the morning. Be sure to find him on YouTube as Edu the Rapper. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, we'll be back with tomorrow Y in the morning, so don't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. Wow, G. Yee.